State University Boonshock School of Medicine and Public Health Dayton in Montgomery County are teaming up to conduct a new health survey. Marie and Jerry are here to tell you why it's necessary and how you can take it. Let's go ahead and jump into what is this survey all about first. Well, this survey really is intended to collect local data about older LGBT people, lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender people. We don't have any solid local data about this community here in the Miami Valley. So what do you plan to do with those results after the survey is taken? Um, we're going to do a few things. A lot of the questions in the survey ask about different health needs. And so we plan to use this information to um, procure, procure funding for different, let's say housing is a need or transportation, to develop different public health projects in the area. Okay, who put this survey together and how did it come to be? Well, this has been a two-year effort. Uh, wow. It's truly a community collaborative effort. We've had several LGBTQ organizations from across the community, as well as public health and, of course, Boonshoft um, Medical School and Boonshoft Pride, which is the LGBTQA uh, medical student organization. So over the last couple of years, we've been meeting, uh, refining the survey, getting input from various segments of the community to try to be sure it's as represented as it can be. Now, how long is that survey going to be available? Because you said it went live this morning. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. available right now. Um, so how long will it be available and how long is it going to take for someone to take it? Um, sure, it should take about 10 or 15 minutes. You can take it online. We also have medical students uh, you can contact and we can do it over the phone or we can give you a paper copy. And it'll be open until March 1st. We'll be collecting data. Oh, plenty of time. And what would you say to anybody that's watching right now why it's so important to start gathering these numbers and really dive into this topic? Yeah. Well, there are a number of health disparities that exist nationally in the LGBTQ community and particularly for older LGBTQ people but we don't know specifically how those affect our local LGBTQ community. So we want to find that out. So it's important for everybody to participate in the survey, particularly older people, but anyone 21 and older can participate in this survey. And for example, today is the Great American Smoke Out. Okay, so we know that uh, smoking and use of tobacco is about two to three times as prevalent mm -hmm. nationally in the LGBTQ community, but we don't know what that looks like here in our community. So in order for us to develop health services uh, for people in our community, we need some good data to help guide us in that effort. So we saw a poster right there. It said Thrive with Pride. Uh, that's, right. that's the name of it. I love the name. It's very great. So is there a link uh, that people can go to to take that survey? Yes. They can go to rainboweldercare.com. Dot org. Dot org, sorry, yeah. org. Or, or they can go to uh, www.phdmc.org slash Thrive Survey. And that's basically the Public Health Dayton Montgomery County website. So again, phdmc.org slash Thrive Survey. Wonderful. Right. Thank you Thanks. so much. We Thank appreciate you. it.